Good morning, Maricosta students and anyone else joining today. Hilary Sepulveda Brown here. I am a certified spiritual coach, spiritual practitioner in training with New Thought Global and graduate of Miracosta's yoga program and am currently an ERYT 500 yoga teacher. I just want to say I am so freaking proud of all of the students at Miracosta and beyond that have made it through this unprecedented year of school. You know, we took our school from being in person to being online, all of those things that you've done. And not only have you survived, you've thrived at your goals because here you are today. So whether you're graduating from the Miracosta Yoga program this quarter or you're continuing on till fall, I just want you to know I see each and every one of you and I am so proud of you. And today I just want you to place your right hand on your heart and your left hand over your right. And I want you to take a deep inhale through the nose, taking a sippy breath. Suspending that breath at the top and I just want you to think about where you were a year ago and where you are now and say yes and exhale audibly. And again, taking a sippy breath, a little bit more air. I want you to know that not only did you make it this far, and do we see you, but you are all that you've ever desired to be. And exhale. And with that next breath, inhale. Suspending at the top of your breath in silence, I want you to find the rhythm of your heart. Holding that breath as long as you feel comfortable. And exhaling out. That rhythm is yours, it's uniquely yours, and it's full of love for just each and every one of you, and it comes from a place of abundance. It's just like the sun or our solar plexus. We have an abundance of solar flares to shine out on everyone else. And so when we come from that unique place, that rhythm that is ours, we manage to come from a place of love rather than a place of lack. And when we do that, we're practicing the universal law of non-attachment or aparigraha. And isn't it amazing how the aparigraha and yoga, the union, the yoke works with universal law? What is non-attachment aparigraha? So many times we hear that and I hear people think, oh, I, I have to have nothing. I have to live with nothing. I, I reject everything. And that's actually not the flow. Right? We have a flow. So to have non-attachment, we have to stay within the law of abundance as well and the flow of the natural cause. Because we are part of the collective, the one divine mind, right? And the I am within us has that ability to create. But when we create our life's design, are we creating from a place of love and abundance? Or are we creating from a place of lack? And so just in thinking about aparigraha and non-attachment, the non-attachment is to the outcome. So we can have our dreams and desires and hold them and believe and claim that they are true and know that they are true and take inspired action to reach those dreams without being attached to the outcome because we know they are done. So we're not worrying every day, oh my gosh, will I get my certificate? Oh my goodness, you know, am I going to be able to pay my rent? We know it is done. And we take the inspired action that our conscious mind, our soul inside of us, because we are part of that collective and we each have that ability to listen, to sit in quiet place, to hear the answers that come from within, from the I am from the source of love and abundance, of non-attachment? Does it mean that you're promising a life of 
poverty to not be attached. Perhaps we're each individual and we all have our own choice. I can't say what it means for you because I don't know what your dreams and goals are. But I can say in truth, we have to stay in abundant flow. And each one of us is a birthright as the own I am within us has that option of that abundant flow and to not be attached to the outcome of those dreams, but to still have them and claim them. We claim them. We know they are true. We know that you are all yogis, right? This is truth. Do you feel that you are a yogi yet? Maybe you feel you're on your road. Maybe you feel you're there, right? It's your own path. We just are not attached to what the outcome looks like, but we can see our dreams. We can see our goals. We can claim them and still practice a parigraha. And in knowing that, I just want to thank each and every one of you at Miracosta for not only surviving, but thriving through this year, giving inspiration, giving breath of life to so many through your practice and to yourself. And I just want to say as a graduate of Miracosta to thank you all the teachers that teach the classes to us there and for them adjusting to being online and for this year and for showing up. And I want to say to all of you, thank you for showing up for yourself, not being attached to the outcome and claiming what it is you desire because you are the creator of your own life's design. And I just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I know that all of you guys are going out into the world and doing amazing things. And that is what I see for each and every one of you. And the light in me honors and sees the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.